Universal health coverage cannot be achieved without involving the people who are supposed to benefit from these services. This was the consensus of speakers at the 2023 Bioneer Conference of the Association of Public Health Physicians of Nigeria Lagos State Chapter held in Lagos. Plus TV correspondent Love Ikoko Yedoku tells us more in this report. It was a gathering of public health care physicians and experts. They are here to brainstorm, exchange ideas, and learn new concepts in the public health care space. In every two years, the Lagos chapter comes together to critically look at topical public health issues affecting the state. Chairman of APHPN, Professor Yetunde Kuyenu, in her welcome address, encouraged everyone to take issues of their health seriously. She lamented the deaths of doctors and the Jaguar syndrome, which she said has created a crisis. Every day, health workers, or workers, and disciplines leave the church of this country in search for a better life. It depends on the push and the pull. Factors are never ending. Forecasters are projecting a blue and large blue flows high walls. It won't be because of no human resource to manage. For his part, the chairman of the conference, Professor Ushibogun Akin, noted that universal health coverage is beyond finance. He maintained that involvement of the communities is germane to achieving great results. We cannot achieve universal health coverage without the involvement of the people who are supposed to benefit from health services. You must involve the communities. So one of the things that we need to do to achieve universal health coverage is to make sure that our world health communities function, that our local government health authorities function, and that the citizens themselves are part of the decision making. Otherwise, you can spend all the money, you can mobilize all the money, but you will never get the health outcomes that you desire. The wife of the Lagos State Governor, Dr. Ibijoke Sawonlu, delivered the keynote address. She was represented by Ola Ibiyoye. She emphasized that the overall well-being of all Lagosians is of paramount interest to the governor. The health and well-being being of all residents is of top priority to the state government under the administration of Mr. of His Excellency, Mr. Babajinez Polishola Samulu. This explains the reasons for the various initiatives and sustained interventions in the health sector to ensure the well-being and welfare of Lagosians like the things plus the agenda of the greater Lagos. Simbo Belo, CEO of Avon HMO, stressed that collaboration with all stakeholders could just pull a string to achieving the sought after universal health care coverage. Really challenging the current situation we find ourselves in. Healthcare inflation is real. We all know in the press, social media, in recent times, you've seen the huge astronomical jump in cost of medication. So, you know, this kind of problems can only be resolved when you have the two arms in healthcare working together and recognizing that both arms are under this huge financial burden, as well as the people we seek to serve, they are also under this huge financial burden. And there's no way of transferring the burden to one side. We all will take a hit together. The theme of the conference is accelerating progress towards universal health coverage, building resilient health system. Love Ikuku Uyidoku, Plus TV News. Lagos State Governor Babajide Sawalu says the Okwebi Mendeo Jota Link Bridge and other arterial roads connecting it will be ready for commuters by the second quarter of 2024. Governor Sawolu, who stated this while speaking with journalists. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.